what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine evening here in southwest pa it is finally cooled off a decent amount and i can uh get on the bike i mean i rode it to work or whatever and it was um no nah, it was just so hot and sticky today hopefully the sun doesn't uh make it the footage look weird but man is it nice out so today what i want to really talk about is no stop sign uh not the stop sign what i want to talk about is things that i have realized that i'm doing that is not good and you know by not good i mean could potentially be you know you know let's go the most extreme deadly you know what i mean and uh i like horses this is a horse an iron horse i never rode a horse no 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 i rode a pony anyways so you know there's three things that i, I really want to talk about and i noticed them by you know re-watching my moto vlogs and you know picking them up and I don't know if I said this or if this was the other video but you know that's what's really nice about moto vlogs is because you can you can really uh, see what you're doing uh, and be able to critique your own riding and be able to um, you know just just be able to figure out what you're doing wrong because you know as a new rider we're going to make mistakes and you know i guess you know this this just jump right into it i don't really want to you know waste your guys' time um the the first thing that i want to talk about is like the biggest thing and i, I want to talk about this first just in case people click off the video and uh i just want it to be you know known how how super sketchy uh this is but uh i realized that make sure there's no car good um one of the things that i noticed that i was doing was riding with one hand and i know exactly where i picked that up uh i picked that up from doing my long rides you know it, it's not an excuse i'm not saying it's an ex it's wow it's an excuse i'm just saying that's where i picked up uh most likely uh the lake erie one because that was just like just a straight shot like literally straight for a long period of time and you know i would just ride with one hand and you know i think in some situations it's okay but lower gear matt geez louise but in most situations it's not okay and uh you know <laughs> i mean it's it's very common sense to realize why that's not okay but you know which way do i want to go um it's this way i didn't pass norman did i i wanted you guys to see norman um but you know it's it's super dangerous because you know whenever something happens you have such a short amount of time to react to something and if you're you know riding around with you know one hand on look one second one second you see something your brain reacts one second so you have like 1.2 seconds to identify something react to something but before you even react to something you uh you judge it in your head and you you figure out what to do anyway what i'm getting at is you know by the time you do that you know if you're going 50 mile an hour you know x amount of x amount of um feet has you know passed you by and those feet can be uh life or death especially i mean if it's a deer running out you know that's like how i'm running around here in this uh really really nice area i think it's nice um at this time of year there are definitely going to be deer running around so i'd like to have my brakes and clutch kind of covered but you know 
you need all the time in the world to be able to to be able to react to these certain things and i mean it's it's just so detrimental you know and here, here's the thing i'm not criticizing anybody for doing this i'm just pointing out that i do it and i don't want to do it anymore um man is that gorgeous uh, because, like I said, it can be, uh, it can be make or break, you know, if something happens and I wreck my bike, you know, that's kind of it for me, you know, I mean, yeah, there's insurance, but I don't know how all that works, if that would be a pain in the butt, you know, just all that stuff involved, um, is just not something that I want to deal with, so if I can, you know, mitigate that risk, just by keeping two hands on the on the steering I mean I'm gonna do it all day and I, I even noticed in, in one of my other videos where you know I noticed I did this I was still doing it so it's a weird subconscious subconscious thing that I'm doing and uh, I think what I'm gonna start doing is whenever I do that in my videos I'm gonna like edit it in the video it's like hey dude uh don't do this because i'll think that i ruined the video and uh oh that was where i wanted to go we're still going that way um but because of that you know i i don't want to ruin my videos and i want to have good content so i'm going to go back and uh you know make sure that i don't do that so you know i'll be a little bit more aware of you know what i'm doing i want to turn around because i want to go down that road because it might be pretty it might be pretty oh so pretty oh gravel no 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 ironically gravel's on the list man look at that can you guys see the horse over there look how nice that is maybe i'll like make this whoa what happened there Maybe I'll make this the, uh, the thumbnail. Man, something disrespected the shit out of that pole. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's the first one that I noticed is, you know, riding around with one, one hand. And again, you know, if, if something happens and I have to brake, look, if I'm braking, all this weight's going to this side and it's pushing the bike. You know, it's, it's... I just lost... accidentally hit the the kill switch um maybe that's what happened to me that one time uh anyways don't do it you shouldn't do it it's not gonna do it um and uh yeah that's the one thing here's the second thing that we uh need to talk about uh that i noticed i did and you know it's um I, I, i'm not entirely sure about it i have to do a little bit more research but in the one video i did where actually ironically i think i was on this road um i came down into a turn and you know somebody i asked you guys hey what i do wrong and somebody commented about using the front brake and you know i thought about it for a little while and i think that they're right i think i think using the front brake in a gravel situation is not correct because you know think about why you trail brake trail braking you're coming into a turn and you're braking as you're coming into the turn as you increase lean angle you decrease brake pressure right so what's that doing that's collapsing the front suspension that's putting more force on that front tire and forcing that contact patch now that is really good whenever you're going into turns but would you necessarily want that phenomenon to go on while you're in a turn and there's loose gravel on the road? Now, you know, I'll always play devil's advocate. My, my buddy's like, you know, Matt, for such a, such a Christian, you, you really like to play devil's advocate. And I do that because I, I kind of have that science part of my brain that won't ever shut off. Man, look at all the horses. And um, it... Uh, you know, I, I like to get everything from all angles if I can. And, you know, I noticed in the video whenever I did that, and even in the other video, um, 
the one that I just uploaded, the uh, the intro to touring, I noticed that I did it there too. Um, I, I used the front brake with gravel, but in my defense, I uh, was already braking before I hit the gravel, I'm pretty sure, and it's it was very progressive braking. Again, I don't know if that's necessarily right or wrong. I think at the end of the day, you probably should use the rear brake to load the rear suspension and take weight off the front tire. You know, that's that's just one thing that I, I want to research in. Look how Disney that is. I, uh, I want to I wanna do a lot more research into that situation. I mean, even with here, the best situation to do is to just really pay attention to what you're doing to not go that fast or be surprised sure you're going to be surprised it's going to happen but i think sometimes you can really uh you can really mitigate you know the surprise attacks but that's that was the other thing uh that i noticed that i was doing that i i kind of want to tidy up on is um is you know my front brake use because here's the thing i'll be honest i never use my rear brake very rarely do i use my rear brake let's just take a moment and enjoy this view really quick beautiful pa pennsylvania man i love pennsylvania whoa man what the hell was that that was a massive rock um but yeah you know i think it's really important to just not catch yourself by surprise you know what i mean as best as you can it, again it's, it's going to happen but um no not fourth gear second gear but you know do your best to not get caught by surprise you know of course like i said it's it's going to happen but you know there are ways to mitigate that here's that turn we were in and we were coming down here somebody said speed i'm trying to think of like you know other things that people were saying somebody said speed i don't think i was necessarily going too fast i might have been um and then there's more gravel see i i just instinctively grabbed the front brake again but it was before the uh before the gravel so you know i don't know it's something that i gotta work on and then i do gotta util utilize my rear brakes because i never really do use them i mean i don't know it is what it is it's just kind of how I, I i ride whether that's a good or a bad habit i'm not entirely sure i got to uh i gotta fix that if it so needs to be fixed uh i think the third thing that uh i wanted to talk about was um i just got distracted because th this is so freaking nice where's the deer at i know there's the deer um I think the third thing that I wanted to, wanted to talk about that I noticed, and I noticed this from again watching watching some of my videos, is my lane position while driving. Um, I think for the most part, it's really good. One thing I'm really happy that I, I do do well, uh, in my personal opinion, is setting up escape routes. Um, that's you know while driving, but especially you know while parked as well and i mean uh, that's so 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 important but what i think that i need to tidy up on is my uh my lane position whenever uh i'm just kind of riding regular roads and okay let's say let's imagine that there was a uh, an intersection here and this is blind I don't want to be over here and a lot of times it seems like i would be in that position you know let's do this again that's you know this turn over here i would be over on the side close to the double yellow whenever i really should be out here just to optimize people being able to see me and stuff like that because i mean you know people don't pull out in front of you because you know they're assholes they, they pull out in front of you because they can't see you so if you as a rider and me as a rider see this guy's in my lane uh, you know 
you, you just have to pay attention to make yourself as visible as you can you know that situation there you know it was a good thing i wasn't like way over there because then you know we both might have been startled and who knows what would happen but you know i was kind of over here so we kind of helped mitigate that i think i am definitely going to turn around and uh continue this talk because it is getting very nice over there um and I might actually run out of things to talk about, but you know, I think this is going to be a nice, uh, nice scenic sunset. So you know, I apologize. I'm probably just going to keep you guys on, if that's okay. Uh, maybe I could always start the video over and you know do it like that. But you know, that's uh, let's just kind of keep rolling with it. But we want to turn around somewhere over here do 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 here on oh, I love I can't see you know what I'm gonna just do this just gonna do this what is going on guys it's like uh -huh. yeah but I don't know and that's why I think moto vlogs are so so essential. You know what I mean? Because they really do they really do help you a lot. I'm working on putting a video together on you know why moto vlogs are so important, and I, you know that's one of the reasons why I feel that moto vlogs are so important um, for for you if you're actually making moto vlogs because you can go back and you can watch your stuff and you can watch your progress you know it's crazy i watched some of my first videos and you know i seen what i was kind of doing wrong and then i see where i'm at and uh stuff like that and it, it just helps it just helps you grow you know what i mean and uh yeah it, it, it's a great thing it's a it's just a great thing that's why i really like moto vlogs and i'm i really enjoy that you guys are putting out you know moto vlogs there's a lot of there's a lot of you guys that are putting out some really good content and uh i'm super happy to be uh you know in that in that field with you guys you know i i i generally get really really excited whenever you know i'm at work and i get a no notification that 603 vibes uploaded a video i'm like yes you know, it's like, I know what I'm going to do. All the dragonflies. I'm going to go home. Have a relaxing. Hands. Man, how gorgeous. How freaking gorgeous. You can even see the sun rays and all that. Um, but. What was I talking about? 603 vibes. There's a lot of dragonflies. Why are there so many dragonflies? That's crazy. Goodbye sunset. Goodbye sunset. As I was just talking about safety and shit. Um, but yeah, I don't know, dude. I I, I really enjoy uh, I enjoy watching his content. You know, and what's what's so awesome about it is that there is uh, there's good content from every genre. You know, you guys. Uh, it's like every genre. Matt Underwood has fantastic advice. I think he has really good advice. Um, I kind of, I kind of want to go back, anyways, if I'm being honest. But you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll wrap this video up and uh, kind of head back. I want to. I kind of feel bad that I, I, I went off on a, on a random tangent. But uh, whew, you have that. And that smells kind of good, actually. What is that? Hey. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and turn around because I want to see, I want to see that one more time, if I can. Oh, waddle waddle in the middle of the road again, Matt. You're talking about like not doing stupid stuff, and here you are doing stupid stuff. But yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I, I really do believe that moto vlogs can be really beneficial to you guys. And I know that I, I'm going off on another 
you know thing but those are the those are the three big uh, those are the three big things that I noticed that I picked up you know the handlebars is a definite no-no I mean that's just that's just a no-no uh, the lane position that's pretty easy to work on you know I, I'm gonna go through my footage and I, I know that I have a couple uh, videos where uh, you know there's great example of you know me not doing that or not being in the best lane position or whatever and you know the third thing is the uh, is the brakes you know the brakes and the gravel or whatever but you know again it's all just a learning experience I should have just continued to go home but hey thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this content or if you enjoyed this beautiful view man it's gorgeous uh, shoot me a like and a comment and uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed